Hi Greedy 3Ders. Now some months ago I reviewed the Hay Gears Ultracraft Reflex and I ended that review by saying would I buy this printer and I said no. Greedy 3Ders, I was wrong. This is without doubt the best 3D resin printer I have ever used. Stay tuned. As an avid 3D printing enthusiast now for many, many years I've tested and played with various printers and resins in that time. And if I'm being honest, the majority of them have done pretty much the same job and given me results that are for the most easily acceptable. Some resins, of course, have proved better than others and some have been downright awkward to use and I will not touch again, contributing no doubt to my lack of hair. But on the whole, to get any of them to work with this or that resin, one particular thing is commonplace. You will need to adjust your slicer settings on your particular printer for that particular resin so that the optimal print is produced. And this can be a trial and error process, sometimes frustrating and definitely time consuming. And it's in this particular area that Hagees have without doubt the upper edge because when you use their proprietary resins like this PARP 10 resin here that I'll be using today, you can't have to worry about these settings at all. None of them exposure times, lift settings, discombobulator levels. Yeah, I made that one up. Indeed, a whole host of any other settings you might have before needed to tweak and twiddle with other printers just won't be of interest to you. A blessing, I'm sure most of you will agree, as providing you use their resins, it's all automated in their slicer, which makes the printing process simpler, easier, quicker and without doubt more efficient. Now you can use other resins in this printer relatively easily too and we'll come back to that later but now if you use their custom slicer their blueprint slicer which I've got to tell you is the best slicer I have ever used you don't have to worry about anything nothing at all there's no need to worry about the details the exposure times etc because blueprint does all this for you with a simple click of a button this takes the stress and headache out of the process it will also rotate your prints, it will support your prints, it will orientate your prints, it will do all of that for you in one simple click. You don't even have to worry about where to put it on the build plate because it will put it in the right position on the build plate as well. It looks at your print, it looks at the optimal position for it, it supports it and it does it all with one single clip. Absolutely outstanding. And while we're talking about the Blueprint software, if you don't want to let it do its automated thing, if you don't want to use this one click slicing option, if you want to do it manually, all the options that you would see on a typical slicer are there. You can make things bigger or smaller. You can rotate things around. You can do all the things that you would be able to do on other slicers such as Light G or Chitu Box. And once you've finished with your sculpts and once you're happy and once you've hollowed it out and added some holes in it and you've sliced it all up, you send it across to your printer via Wi-Fi. This connects to it via Wi-Fi. If you want to do it the old-fashioned way and stick it on a USB stick, then the printer has a USB slot for you to do that. They've thought of everything. And in my first review, I did say that you couldn't use Chitterbox or Lychee Slicer with it. Again, Greedy got that wrong. So let's just say that you want to do all your work in Chitterbox. Let's say like here, you've got a pre-supported file or you just want to do all the gubbins in Chitterbox. You can do it. That's absolutely fine. You can add your support. You can hollow it. You can add your holes, etc, etc. And once you've done it, all you need to do is save it as an STL file and it will then open up in the Blueprint software and you can slice it. Now I wouldn't recommend you use pre-sliced and supported files because the Hagear system itself, including their supports, are much, much better than the pre-supported ones. So my recommendation is to use the supports in the Blueprint slicer. So what else do I like about it? Well, some of the main selling points for me are its construction. The build quality to start with, you can feel it, you can see it, it is without doubt excellent. It is a robust machine made of metal and plastic. It's just put together so, so well. It's got some ambient lighting on the interior of it. It's got an up and over lid that makes life easier when you're getting your prints out or putting your build plate in. You have seen how messy I am. And to be fair, most printers now are taking this approach. It just means you haven't got to worry about lifting it off or finding somewhere to put it. When you get inside the machine, you can see that there's a quick release build plate for a really 
simple and quick connection to the machine. You can do it one handedly and it also incorporates a really nifty function that you can actually hang the build plate at an angle to drain it without the need to print anything additionally. Again, it's been well thought out. People have listened to what the user wants. And whilst the build plate is an excellent quality, it's a robust bit of kit, it's solid. I would have liked to have seen something a little bit larger. The build volume on the machine has always been something that's a little bit of a disappointment to me. So it's offering less printing area than some of its competitors. Now, when you think of the price point as well, coming in at around about £1,400, and there is a £200 discount code that I am going to put in the item description i'm going to tell you that now if building huge things is for you definitely something you need to think about but if you're printing miniatures if you're printing smaller parts if you're printing the average one quarter superhero figure then you can get away with this fine and its quality makes it well worth it it has a heated resin tray oh yeah it comes with a heater built in which is an absolute must especially here in the UK. The tray itself has a quick release system that works great which means no more fumbling around with a bulky knobs to get the tray out. There are a couple of steps you need to do first. You need to remove the resin sensor and that's not hard it's just held in place with a magnetic quick release. You also need to take out the resin dam connector for the auto feed system. Oh yes this printer does have an auto feed resin system that works automatically with the resin sensor to refill any depth for sitting resin mid print without the need for you to be there. You can sit at home watching your TV knowing that the printer will top itself up. But the auto resin feature, now that's a bit of a double edged sword because again you do need to use their proprietary resins to make it work because the bottle for their proprietary resin is a certain shape that fits into the printer. Not every bottle will fit in it. In fact, no other bottle will fit in it. But don't worry, I've done a whole video on how you can solve this and you can use other resins in their original bottles to kid it to thinking it's using its own high gears resins. High gears don't really mind you doing this. It will encourage you to use their printers. Just tell the printer slicer that if you're using, for example, Jam J Pro or Sun Lu, that you're using PAP 10. Or if you're using the Jam J High Clear for translucent, just tell it you're using PAT 10. It will use the settings that it would have used for the high gears own resins, and they work perfectly with those resins that I've tested, meaning you can have perfect prints at a cheaper cost. So now, in my opinion only, the biggest problem with the Hagee's Autocraft Reflex has been removed completely because you don't need to use proprietary resins to get the end results that you want. And that means the cost is reduced greatly. Now, I am taking nothing away from Hagee's resins because they are incredible resins. They are perfect. They are wonderful. I would use them all the time. But if cost is a real implicating factor for you not to buy this printer because of the resin, then don't worry about it. You can use normal resins in it and they work fine. Here you can see Jam J High Gloss printed perfectly. Job done. Fraction of the cost. But maybe you don't want to be bothered in pouring one resin into one of their bottles and kidding it. Well, just literally pour it into the vat. Just ensure that the little dam is closed and you turn auto feed off. You don't even need to put a reservoir bottle in there. The system will tell you there's no reserve bottle in there, but just tell it that's OK. Pour some normal Jam J or some normal Sun Lu into the vat until it reaches the maximum and you're ready to print. Follow the settings, of course, in your slicer, in the Blueprint slicer, to tell it you're printing with PAP10 if it's Sunlu, or PAT10 if it's high gloss, and it will do it all for you. The only downside to this is you don't get to top it up as you go along. So if you run out, you run out by not using the bottle. But the quality, again, is absolutely toppity dog. This printer is incredible it is my favorite go-to printer and now i can print on it without spending ridiculous amounts of money on the proprietary resin again if you want to buy their resin buy it if you don't want to buy their resin i'm sure that hages would rather you bought their printer and use sun Lu in it as an example than didn't buy the printer at all and in my opinion if you don't buy this printer you are missing out on the best printer of 2024 by far now, High Gears are listening to us and they've released this PARP 10 Pale Purple resin, which they've given me to use. This stuff is great. It's strong. It's good for miniatures and it's under 
£47 for a kilogram, which when you look at the cost of other of their products is really, really cheap. And here you can see me using it in the Haygears Ultracraft Reflex. And I just wanted to show you this as well. Look what the printer is doing. The printer is mixing the resin as it warms up. What other printer do you know of that mixes the resin in the vat for you as it's warming? Another fantastic feature. For those of you worried about levelling, don't worry. This self levels, it self levels every single time. It will even tell you when it does its levelling process. If there's a little bit of resin at the bottom and it will abort and it will tell you that there's a little bit of resin there so you don't damage your FEP. I've got to tell you as well, another thing I love about this is the auto supports. They're amazing. I've not had a failure because of supports ever letting this printer take over and do its own thing. The supports seem a little bit thinner in structure than others, but that doesn't mean they don't work. Quite the opposite. They work amazing. They leave less divots and less marks on your on your print. The prints literally almost kind of fall off the build plate. It's it's incredible. They are soft, they are strong they do the job and they leave less divots than others. I can't fault the supports. I've used it on big models, small models, miniatures, and the supports have never, ever let me down. Their auto support system is just plain incredible. Now, of course, you're going to get little divots where the supports have been. That is an inevitability of resin printing. The good thing with them being so small and so tiny in their little dome shape is they sand off easily which makes your life so much simpler post-production when you've got a complicated model and you've got to sand it down that sanding process is a lot easier and less traumatic so there's a whole myriad of reasons why this printer is my favorite printer of 2024 and my go-to printer i want to make models i want to make them quickly i want to make them easily i don't want to mess around with settings i don't want to mess around with messing about in general this thing prints quickly easy, reliably, simply, and the results I'm getting are just awesome. The UI on the machine is just beautiful to use. It's simple, it's quick, and look, when you print a file, you haven't got to see a scrolling word or guess what it is. You get multiple images of the file that you want to print, that you are about to print. Again, they've listened to the user. There's a myriad of options in there from setup to resin tank cleaning. You can turn the resin sensor on and off. You can turn the automatic refill on and off. You can tweak it and twiddle it to your necessity. And if you just want it to be simple and you don't want to mess with these settings, you don't have to because the standard out of the box settings are absolutely fine. It helps you set it up from the beginning. It connects to Wi-Fi. It'll look for upgrades. The UI in it is without doubt the best that I've used on any printer ever. Now I'm not being paid or sponsored in any way to say these things. These are my genuine beliefs after using this printer in anger for months and months now. It's amazing. It's a go-to printer without doubt. If you want to get hold of one of these printers, I'll put a link in the description where you can get one. Now it is an affiliate link. I'm not going to lie. I will get a little kickback from it, but you will also save £200 and get free two one kilogram cartons of their PARP 10 resin just for clicking that link. Now I can't end this four month of use review without talking about their wash and cure stations. Their wash station, again as my go-to washing station, it will swirl the IPA round from speeds from 60 up until 200 revolutions per minute, which will clean your items. If you've got delicate items, just slow the wash speed down. It does an amazing job. Now what Hagears want you to do, and this is how the system works, is it doesn't want you to touch anything with uh, IPA on. So it's got this innovative new way of taking the dirty resin at the top there in the IPA and putting the clean one at the bottom and letting the IPA drain into it. Absolutely works wonderfully. It's a great idea. It's not how I use it though. I use the two buckets, one with a dirty wash and one with a clean wash. So I'll clean it for about three or four minutes in the dirty wash, take it out with a pair of gloves on, put it into the clean wash and I'll give it for another three or four minutes. My prints come out absolutely prestige and clean if you want to use the way it's intended for and not touch the prints at all that's absolutely fine you can do that as well but i use it as a clean and a dirty wash and it's my favorite way to do it the good thing as well is the high gears um, build plate from the ultracraft leaflex fits into the bucket it's it fits in perfectly and it cleans it for you. It's another great reason to use the 
wash station that comes with it because it can clean your build plate perfectly that's it going at full 200 rpm now they do recommend if you're going to use this don't house it next to your 3d printer the vibrations may cause problems you don't want your resin printer to be shook about when it's printing the cure station again i'm really not just saying this it's my go-to cure station it's got a door on the front they've listened there's a door on the front not only will it cure it's got a heater in it as well Oh, they really have thought of everything the wash and the cure stations are wonderful the printer i've said enough about the printer it's my favorite go-to printer you've heard that time and time again other people within the 3d printing fraternity that i've spoken to and i shan't name names have also said how much they love this hay gears printer just watch the internet for people to start putting out user reviews on this people are going to love it and now we've solved the biggest issue that i had with it which was the cost of proprietary resin there is no reason for me not to use this or to recommend this to you guys. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you found it useful. Let me know what you think. Am I right? Am I wrong? Tell me your thoughts and opinions on this Hagee's Ultracraft system. And don't forget to click the link for a massive whopping discount if you want to buy one. Mm -hmm.